Tony played <laughs> with friends. Hey, Ding Dong. Yeah. What is your favorite meal? Meal? Yeah. It's curry. Probably. Why do you like curry so much? I don't know. Is it specifically? The, it's is it the t t t the, t t the tingly t t the tinglys on your tonguey? Yeah. I assume. Yeah. Uh, that's part of it. Do you get the shits easily? Uh, sometimes. Haha. <laughs> Not from curry though. Haha. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, you don't get the shit. <laughs> Chris, you, re you remind me of, uh, this one, uh, this one chain comment that would get passed around on DeviantArt, and, and it would, it was about, like, Teddy, the, the killer Teddy or something like that, mm -hmm. and it would be, there was always a part in it where it, w it was talking about the people that didn't pass around the email. <laughs> you know, yeah. and they get died, and so it would go, ha ha, stupid something, ha ha. And I, uh, I always read it in that voice, and I thought it was very amusing. Why do people fall for that? I have no idea. When I was like eleven, I fell for it. It's like if you don't send this, your mom and dad are gonna die. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I've been internet cursed by the evil teddy bear. I wonder where that ansom feller went. I wonder where that psycho murderer is. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't die. <sighs> this world is pretty. It is, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to find- I know there's it's a lot true. of chests here and I'm trying to remember where they're at. You know what I like about this area? It's also very open. It's like uh, my asshole. Okay, yeah. well... <laughs> now I don't like it. Yes. Exactly like that. Why do you have little rock? You know what? I would be pretty happy if this was what my asshole looked like. Why do you have little rock candies in there? Because I shove them up my ass and they break. They get stuck because they're sticky. Why don't you get them out? I don't want to. Because it looks pretty. When I get the shits, it cuts up my shit real good. <laughs> Dices it so it comes out easier. Yeah. Comes out in. Chris, would you uh, enjoy if your poop came out in perfect little cubes? That would be nice. Why? Because um. <laughs> yeah, the, the shape of poo is not ex exa exactly uh aesthetic. Pleasant. It's just like it's not aesthetically pleasing. It's like uh, a really thick brush stroke with zero thickness at each end. You know they judge that at dog shows. They have them take a shit and they have to weigh in how good their poo looks. Did you know that? What would you do if you went to a dog show and they were like raiding shit and the guy just ran over and started stepping in the shit really fast and I said don't do it. that and uh, there's there's ten guards <laughs> no, trying to stop no, him no, from no, doing no. it. No, it's the judge judging it. Uh, He's like like pity pity patting on the shit really fast. <laughs> turning around in a circle. He, he says Going, three out of ten. <sighs> this shit is the shit. Like he rates it poorly after having judged it for like seven minutes. Why are dogs so fucking stupid? Why can't they play video games? Dogs are fine. I like dogs. Well, they don't like you. No, they don't. I'm deathly allergic. You know what I hate about dogs? You heard it here, folks. That's how you're gonna kill Ding Dong. Did I ever tell you about the dog who jumped up real high and he never came back down? I've heard of that urban legend. It's a famous one. <laughs> There's a blurry picture of a dog in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever return? <laughs> he got really excited. He got too excited. Can we just flood, like, the creepypasta wiki with a bunch of this shit? <laughs> <laughs> the dog that got too excited. <laughs> he couldn't come back down. Julie, Here we what? are, this is Teeth Island. This is the t Teeth of Tiddy. What is this, actually? Are you inside a big monster? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's really just- WHAT IS THIS?! It's weirdo place, cause it's the end- it's the end of the world. Remember? That was the Simpsons episode. It was called Marge's Surprise Party. And she gets home, <gasps> and homework pops up and says, SURPRISE! And she's just- WHAT IS THIS?! Marge, I'm sorry, please don't- <laughs> Please don't divorce me again. <laughs> I only did it for you. Homer, I've told you multiple times. Things frighten me. <laughs> things frighten I me. I can't deal with this anymore. But Marge, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't keep doing that voice. That was really good. Marge, you Marge. have to keep your dark ego under control. <laughs> <laughs> Homer, Homer, taking me over. 
It's taking over oh, my blue. No, the darkness. I can't control my dark side. Merge the darkness and fix Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> we must save her and sacrifice Lisa. <laughs> I guarantee you somewhere out there is a fan fiction of The Simpsons and Kingdom Hearts. I would be down. Is it with the... I, I'm sorry, this is weird. I, I, I'm, not, I'm in no position to judge, but... What is it with the fascination around The Simpsons for material like that? Where it's like... Not just fan fiction, but erotic fan fiction? I've never understood it myself, personally. And I get off to fucking Tex Avery Wolves. <laughs> it's just familiarity. Nah, that makes sense. Nah, that makes sense. Homer, I, I, I take you back, but you must promise that Barney will be my husband also. Yes, anything. Hi, Homer. <laughs> Barney, you have to cuck me. It's the only way to contain the darkness! <laughs> I'll, I'll okay, cuck you! Home. Okay, home, I'll cuck you! Bleh. What if his uh, trademark burp was replaced with my... Ah! With your zero bark? Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so great. Mm. I thought it was good. I think uh, The Simpsons should hire me and, uh, and I'll save the show from mediocrity. We'll save the Shire. I did a YouTube video on an animation. I know how to save everything. Hire me. Are they still gonna give me the Winnie the Pooh world even though I haven't unlocked it yet? I hope not. If we're gonna get 100% on this, I've got to do it eventually. Okay. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Scoop it up and 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 Ooh, okay, I, I guess that doesn't work. I am hungry for honey and cock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crusty? <laughs> why does Tigger laugh again? <laughs> there you go. There Chris, you go. why don't you just be a costumed performer? I, I'm, okay. Who should I be? You, uh, be, uh... You could probably be Homer. I would be so- oh my god. You could work at Universal Studios yeah. and wear the big Homer costume. Do you think they'd put a little speaker in my helmet so I could talk to people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd just be like, Help, I'm lost in the theme park. <laughs> I don't belong here. Take my hand, child. <laughs> my Marge left me. Children, guide me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Put me in your back seat. All you children, grab my hands. Guard my, guide my last spirit to the afterlife. I after promise life. to never harm children. <laughs> Then I look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I I like it more because I'm imagining a man in a Homer Simpson costume doing it. <laughs> I would love a huge ass Homer costume with a little speaker inside. <sighs> would you twiddle your fingers and go? Ooh. Just do a Peter Griffin Ooh. voice instead. Hey, hey, I'm Homer. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. It's the wrong Freaky voice. Freaky Homer Simpson. Freaky sweet leash, huh? No. I can't do the... I can't do a... 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 Griffin voice as good as you. Ooh! That's a good one. Ooh! Come on, said Goofy. That's not fair. <laughs> I would... Ah! I would love Goofy to play football. And kick it right out of my dick. Remember the Goofy cartoon when- Remember the Goofy Murphy when Goofy, goofy said move. move. He said move off for my son. Goofy take his fucking shoe off and his big black toes are so stinky. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wrong yet it's so right. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, Shameless? The, the fucking fish sucks on his toe. Have you yeah, I've seen, seen I've seen Nameless. Have you seen? There was like one episode where I feel like the joke was written specifically for me to laugh at. It was like one That's of the characters where, where Yo Tom walks in front of the cartoon. <laughs> no, and looks at the screen and says, "Chris O'Neill, this one's for you." No, one of the characters was camming naked. Uh oh. And then she leaves halfway during it, and it just cut to a fucking tiny little like. Middle Eastern man with a capuchin monkey behind him, and he starts going, No, 
no. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I, I was, I screamed. I literally screamed. He went, Wah! No, I went. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get down here. What are you doing? Help. Miguel. Zora, you're going to hell. 